I feel like a little something extra today, so let's jump into it and take a look at what I have on the bench. Welcome to this episode of Radio Tech by DIY3DTech.com. This episode, I've got the new uh, Baofeng UV5REX. So this is the new version of the uh, UV5R radio from Baofeng, uh, which they claim they've ergonomically updated it. So let's open the box and see what's inside. Now I picked this guy up sub 30 bucks off of Amazon and I kind of just wanted um, a throw in the glove box radio. So I figured I would get this one, hey, for 30 bucks, what the heck. So comes with a rather interesting user manual here as typical Baofeng radios do. And actually the manuals I found for being a Chinese product you know, really aren't so bad uh, for the bow things. So kind of lifting this out, we see what we have. We see here we have the new EX series of the UV5. And the nice little plastic wrap. So let's go ahead and take this out. So um, kind of walkie-talkie-ish if you kind of get my drift. Uh, it does look like it's got the uh, light on top. And I mean, I think pretty much, um, you know, they've just sort of cheapen the case or maybe made it more ergonomical as they put it versus the blocky case design but you know heck sub 30 bucks is sub 30 bucks so we got the battery and whoops if I don't drop it here um, the battery just pops in like that and Bob's your uncle and then with that out of the way we have the obligatory secret service ear set we got the high gain antenna. We got the obligatory belt clip. We got the lanyard, which who knows why. We got a wall wart type charger. And we have a charging base. I wish these came with like a USB charger, even if it was like a trickle charger. Um, you know, it's got the SMA, you know, all the atypical bow things. So, they basically just changed the plastics. I don't not sure I like, you know, the orange buttons here. It kind of cheapens the look over the black. The feel's not, um, you know, so bad. I mean, it's not a horrible radio. I mean, for the money, you know, what what can one expect? Um, I believe everything else is pretty much, uh, you know, like the UV5R. Uh, so, anyways, if you're thinking about uh, getting a throw around handy talkie, yeah, this might be it for the money. I haven't used it yet. Obviously, I just took it out of the box. You saw me do it. So uh, I'm a bit excited to have it because, again, um, you know, my intention really is to throw this in my truck. I'm not going to mount a radio. I have a lease vehicle, so I don't want to, you know, physically mount radio in air. But I would like to have a handheld. And just starting out, um, you know, for 26, I think this was like 26 bucks. How can you really go wrong? Because even if I get mad at it and throw it out the window, you know, what's the big loss, really? So anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. If you have one of these, let me know what you think in the comments below. If there's something else around this, what do you think? You know, because I've got the... Uh, the F8HP, which I really like that radio. So for the amount of money now, I paid a little bit more for it. I put a little better antenna. I might put a little bit of better antenna on this one uh, too. I have to see yet. Uh, you know, unfortunately, the better antenna kind of makes it a little bit less portable to throw in a glove box, where this will fit in my glove box. So let me know what you guys are thinking about, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Mm -hmm.